I'm Sally Pointer and I'm out in the woods and I'm, yes, I'm very hot and sticky. That's because I'm out helping with the lime bass harvest today and I've just peeled a tree. So I'm allowed to look a bit pink around the edges. Now, Frowood Coppice is the place that I get the wood for things like my weaving looms from. And the owner, Chis Howard, has very kindly allowed me to come and help. You might hear him in the background with a chainsaw felling some lime trees and then we need to sit the bark off. Lovely. Oh, that's great. You can really see that separation. I think my supervisor's gone to sleep. Is it very boring watching other people work? Yeah, don't blame you. Have a snooze. I've left Chiz cutting down another tree while I brew up. I am nowhere near as fit as he is. So we've made bales out of the bast and that now needs to be dropped into the pond. Awesome wood ants nest here, right on the edge of the pond. It's huge and I gather they get a lot bigger than that though. And it's very, very busy. Hello ants. What are you doing? Climbing up and down things? Yeah, I'll get out of your way now. So you know how archaeologists are always talking about ritual objects? I think I think we might have found the ones in Chisholm's pond. Those are disgusting. <laughs> how long have those been in there? Uh, a year. <laughs> I forgot about them. <laughs> There's still some lumps of brain. That's fantastic. Well, yeah. that's going to do good things for all the little bugs that are going to work away on our lime bast. Yeah, well, well, yeah. <laughs> oh, so that's a bundle of bass ready to go into the pond where it will stay for, what, two or three months? I guess. Yeah. yeah. We'll see what happens. Deeper. So I think what I'll do is I'll come back another day wearing suitable footwear, tie some tethers onto the bundles and tow them out into the deeper pond and weigh them down. Yeah, they'll hold for a bit though, so they'll be all right for the moment. Well, back at home, I've brought one little bundle of bast back with me. It's only a bit, it's only a few smallish sections of bark, but still more than I've had access to to play with by myself before. This is going into my local river in a nice sheltered bit, and I'm gonna compare it to the stuff in Chisholm's Pond, and we'll see which batch gets finished first. So I just need to take this down, tuck it away where it's not in anybody's way and it's not going to do any harm and check on it every few weeks for a month or two. So this is my local stretch of river and I brought my little bundle of bass and it's just about submerged. We're due some rain today, this should go up. Tied it to a little bit of a willow sapling that was bending down so it doesn't float away but I think it should behave itself quite well there. I will check on it every week or so and we'll see what happens. When it's done this is what it'll turn into. This is some from a previous year. It'll turn into this almost raffia like material which you can see in other videos of mine being used for things like um, looped around a core basketry and things like that. It's lovely stuff. I adore working with it and it's been really good fun. 
be allowed to be in on it from standing tree all the way through the process. Happy hedge bothering!